All right, new slab coils in place. We're gonna make a transition to go between these two. All right, let's talk about how to size up for a transition like this. Okay, so first we're gonna measure the square on this side, or measure the square on this side. And we're gonna find our shared angles. So these share a bottom line, and they share a back line. That's gonna let us get our fitting. Now we want this gap set 12 inches. So we're gonna make our height 12 inches with our first side, our second side, and we'll close it off with this cap, which is where we'll put our little access panel. Simple enough. Two different squares, like it is in the room. We have a shared baggage at 21. Our furnace is 20. Our coil is 30. Right, and then we have to close it off here. So we'll lay out our coil side, right, 30, 30. Our furnace side, 21, 20, 20. That's going to leave us with this last piece that needs to close this gap. It's gonna be the height of this angle here, X, height of X, and then the last piece is a 21, it matches this, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, with the height of X. No rocket science. I think we want a 12 inch span. So to get started, just start with something that you know. We know that both of these are gonna hit their coil, so we're gonna give them an inch to either be bent out, uh, turned into a foot, or used as an S-lock. It's a lot easier to take them off than it is to put them on later. So, all right, so we'll mark out one, 13, All right, now we're gonna find the next thing on our list. 30, this corner. 30, 21, 30 is our whole bottom edge. And now with this mark found, which is this mark here, we can find this 20 out. From that corner point, 20 out is right there. Right, so from our corner, we get our 20 out, and then it's this point here, to this point here, And then we're gonna put the connector on the other piece. So now we'll do that on the other side. And we'll just close in our box. That's the back of our fitting. So now to close this gap off, we just need to measure Right, which is over there or over there, whichever way, and use that to set our new height. Same tab, tab, tab. It's this one down here. And we'll be on our way. So that's gonna be 15 and a half. It's gonna be the height of our next piece. Okay, 
And so now this piece is gonna close this off. So it needs an inch on the side. So in order to close this off, it needs a tab for the S-lock. So we're gonna add a tab. We're gonna keep these same runners, or whatever you wanna call them, and tab on this side. 21 by the height, which ended up being 15 and a half. One. So that's our fitting. There she is in real life. Basically, you want to go from corner to corner as best you can. Just a regular old screwdriver. All right, not the worst fitting ever. We gave these a little, little parallelogrammy angles. Gotta go see a little bit of S lock, and that should work. She's in place. That slap coil looks nice in there. 